What's up guys, I'm Taylor with TK Disc Golf, and in today's video we are reviewing the Envy from Axiom Discs, but this time in Fission Plastic. This is the first putter release with Fission, and I'm super, super excited to be diving into it, but before we do, be sure to hit that subscribe button, because we don't want you guys missing any of our future uploads, but without further ado, let's get started. For those of you that aren't familiar with Fission Plastic, this is when MVP and Axiom actually add microscopic air bubbles to the core of the disc to reduce the weight, and also add additional weight filler to the overmold or the outer rim of the disc to help enhance the gyroscopic properties of the frisbee, but also this allows the disc to lock in on its lines a little bit better and enhances the glide. But one of the crazy things about Fission is this actually allows MVP and Axiom to really play with the weight ranges. I was able to get my hands on a max weight, 175 grams Fission Envy, but also was able to push it all the way down to 158 grams. Now typically, like with any other disc golf brand, a 150 gram putter, it's going to be pretty understable, but it actually, with the Fission Plastic, allows it to maintain quite a bit of its stability, even at that light weight. With the max weight Fission Envy, you're still going to have all the same stability that you are used to with your Proton or Neutron or Plasma Envy, but with an additional glide boost, I'd say, I would put the glide around a 4 instead of a 3, and then because of the Fission Plastic, it locks in onto what Whatever line you put it on so if you're releasing it flat or with a smidge Manheiser it's really going to over pronounce that more so than a typical Envy would so you might want to say that like the turn is going to be more of like a minus half turn but still very much a two fade very useful slightly overstable putter for off the tee. I think the fun really starts to begin when we switch to the like lighter weights. Uh, this 158 gram Fission Envy is just absolutely mind blowing to me how much glide this thing has. It's obviously not a glitch or anything like that, but the glide boost definitely is noticeable with that. And it also just locks in on whatever release angle you put it on so much easier. It's probably the straightest Envy I've ever thrown. Some people online were saying, oh, it just reminds me of a proxy. And with a proxy, you have to hyzer flip it a lot to keep it straight versus this you can really mash on it flat and trust that the fission plastic plus the still like two fade over stability of the uh, envy is going to keep the disc laser straight even on that flat release regardless of your power level i really don't think you could go wrong with either of these weight ranges the 175 is an absolute blast still got your typical over stability of an envy but the 158 gram you're able to keep it laser super straight for me personally i think i'm going to continue to experiment with that 158 gram just because it was so much fun to throw in the woods and really being able to power down on it and trust it's going to stay glidey and punch through that gap and continue to push forward. If you want to see more review videos like this from us, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.